members in partnership with McDonald's restaurants, which take pride in bringing quality children. Our members in partnership, which take pride in bringing quality children's programming to New England. And with WGBH Learning Smith, a general store for the curious mind, in Harvard Square, the Mall at Chestnut Hill, and Emerald Square. Your alphabet favorite, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the sublime Miss M. There's one letter you can't ignore. It begins mailman, moss, and matador. Magic, moss, and much, much more. And where would we be without them? You got
dinner in a charming spa. One of the M words suddenly were not no milk, no menu, no fancy meal. And this thing is my dad, how bare he feels. I mean, don't we need all of them? Oh, you got to, got to, got to have M. Uh, could we take it down now? Now, I'd like to bring out Ms. M. What is so special about the letter M? Don't these people see that the letter M has a point right in the middle and two strong lines on the sides? And don't they know this letter makes the most wonderful sound? Mm -hmm. And that's the sound of something marvelous. Oh, when you're singing for all of your friends, without the M word, the song. question? Sure. Have you ever felt like you really wanted to do, I don't know, like a dance or something, but, well, you weren't sure anyone would like it? Yeah, I've felt that way a few times. Well, what did you do? Well, I did what I wanted to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what if nobody likes it? <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that you do what you want to do and feel proud of it. And you know what, Tully? I bet you feel a lot better after you do it. You think so? I know so. Hmm. Okay, then. All right. I'm going to do what I want to do and be proud of it. <laughs> That's the spirit, Tully. But uh, what are you going to do? This. Savion, 
That felt great. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Nueve. Ocho. Siete. Seis. Cinco. Cuatro. Tres. Dos. Uno. Cero. Hey, Ernie. Hey, Bert. Hey, uh, you know there's a cookie lying on the table here? Yeah, I know that, Bert. Oh. Hey, Ernie. Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Oh, sure, go ahead. Why, why is there a cookie lying on the table here? Oh, you see, I put it there, Bert. Oh, yeah? Yeah, to remind myself. Oh, to remind yourself of what? Oh, well, of circles, Bert. Oh, really? Yeah, you see, see, the cookie is round, just yeah. like a circle, you see? Yeah. And uh, so every time I see the cookie, it reminds me of the circle. Oh. Well, okay, but, but why do you want to be reminded of circles? Well, you see, because circles remind me of squares. They do, huh? Sure. And, and I have to remember about squares because squares remind me of my checkerboard. See? Because uh -huh. the checkerboard is square. You yeah. See? And it's also made up of a whole lot of little bitty squares. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm beginning to understand. This cookie here is on the table to remind you of circles, which remind you of squares, which remind you of that checkerboard. Right. And you want to play checkers. Wrong. Oh. No, you see, I want to remember about the checkerboard because that reminds me of games, yeah. and games remind me that I have to put on my football helmet. I know I shouldn't ask this. Ernie? Hmm? Why do you want to put on your football helmet? Oh, that's obvious, Bert. You see, it my is. football helmet reminds me of music. Why is that, I oh. ask foolishly? Well, because there's always music played at football games. You know, bands playing yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And I want to remember about music because that reminds me of bells. Ah, sure. Of course it does. Yeah. Right. And bells remind me that I've got to turn on my alarm clock. Your alarm clock. Ernie. Hmm. Hey, Ernie. What? Ernie, will you turn off your alarm clock, please? Oh, yeah, Bert, sure. Okay, now, okay. now let me see if I got this straight, okay? Sure. Now, this cookie here on the table mm -hmm. is to remind you of circles, okay. which reminds you of squares, which mm -hmm. reminds you of checkerboards, mm -hmm. which reminds you of a football helmet, which mm -hmm. reminds you of music, which mm -hmm. reminds you of your alarm clock mm -hmm. ringing, right? Exactly. Ernie. Why do you want your alarm clock to ring? Well, because, you see, when my alarm clock rings, that reminds me that it's time to eat my cookie. Q. Quiet! Amazing, beautiful, 
creatures dancing excite the forest plains. In my heart, how I do jump like the hoodoo, listen to the music so nice the organ plays. Quietly rest the sleepy tiger under the vine tree at the waterside. And X marks the place neath the yellow moon where the Zulu chief and I did hide. Umnandi, Umnand, where the Vietnamese eat him up. So, you want to buy a car? Yes, I've come to buy a small car. Madam, you have made a wonderful choice. Hey, Leroy, bring out the small car. Is it she a beauty? A small car? Yes, it's a small car, but no, it's not small enough. I want something smaller, a smaller car. Something smaller, yes, yes, of course, a smaller car. Hey, Leroy, bring out the, uh, smaller car. There you are, madam. You want a smaller car? You got a smaller car. Well, this one is smaller. You bet. Much smaller than that small car over there. You're right. You're right. This one is smaller than that small one. But... But... But what, dear lady? They don't get much smaller than this little beauty. I mean, <laughs> what's smaller than small? Smallest! I want the smallest car you have. Well, why didn't you just say so? Uh, I mean, that is to say, the customer is always right. Right. Uh, hey, Leroy, bring out the smallest car we have. Well, here you are. The smallest car we got. It's perfect. I'll take it. Okay. Everybody in the car! I am having a great day. I'm going to be in a movie. Yeah, and Jodie Foster is the director. <laughs> all right, we're all set up, Telly. Now, when I say action, you begin. Okay, oh, okay, Jodie. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. Oh, you're going to be just fine. You know it, all right? Five, four, three, two, one, action. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, and he pulled out a plum, and said, what a good boy am I. Cut! Huh? Well, that was very good, Terry. Yeah. That was yeah. very good, but I was just wondering, maybe this time, why don't you try putting some feeling into it? Some feeling. Feeling? Yeah, like, um, how do you feel about little Jack Horner, uh, sitting in a corner? Does it make you sad? Does it make you happy? Gee, I don't know. Well, um... Well, let's just say you're sad, because uh, if he's sitting in a corner and, uh, you know, that's not a very comfortable place to be, is it? So he's little Jack Horner sat in a corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that, that's that. Now, then maybe, then maybe you get cheered up, because he's eating a Christmas pie. So the first part would be sad, and then the second part would be happy. So little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a Christmas pie. Yeah! Right. Now, then maybe for the next part, you get angry because he's stuck in his thumb. And I, I, I don't know about you, but that ruins it for everybody oh. else. I don't really want to eat a Christmas pie if somebody stuck their thumb in it. No. So he stuck in his thumb. But then, look, he, he pulled out a plum. Now, I, I, I'm caught totally by surprise, aren't you? I didn't know he was going to pull out a plum. So you're surprised. He pulled out a plum. But then... That's a pretty good thing to do, isn't it? To pull out a plum on the first try. Yeah. So then he gets pretty proud of himself, and he says, and he says, what a good boy am I. Right? So what do you think? Um, I'm a little confused. C could you do it all again? Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, little Jack Horner sat in a corner. Sad. Eating a Christmas pie. Happy. He stuck in his thumb. Angry. And he pulled out a plum. Surprised. And he said, what a good boy am I. Proud. Well, <laughs> well you think you can do that? You think you can try that? I, th I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Ready? Huh? 
Five, four, three, two, one, action. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and he pulled out a plum. And he said, what a good boy am I. <laughs> Cut. Print, you were great. Boy, your mom is going to love this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. She really loves these home movies. Uh, thanks, Jody. Uh, was I really great? You were really great. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel proud <laughs> and, and happy. Uh, uh, how does that make you feel, Jody? Hungry. Um, I wonder if there's some plums around here or some pie or something. You think Hooper says some Christmas pie we could get? Let's go see. Okay. <laughs>
today in the park. But before we could perform, we got to practice. That's what our teacher Julio says. from Africa and he teaches us all about the people in Africa how they dance how they sing and how they get dressed up going to imagine we're flying way high over Sesame Street. So start flapping your wings, because here we go. Just look at us. We're way up high. I knew someday we'd get to fly. We're flying. 
Oh yes, we're flying I knew we'd like it Cause I had heard There's nothing like it If you're a bird We're flying Oh yes, we're flying So don't close your eyes This is no time for napping Up here you see you gotta keep flapping. We're flying. We're flying. We're flying. Hey, Birdketeers, let's pretend we're way up in the sky and we can look down. Way down. Oh, look at my nest. Way down there. It was my mailbox. So tiny. <laughs> yes, we're higher than high. Spread the word. The bird cateers are airborne birds. We're flying. Oh, yes, we're flying. <laughs> hey, let's fly south. <laughs> Flap your wings. <laughs> Did I just see a flock of birds fly by? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. lesson is about our friend, the tree. Ah. Yes, now first of all, this is a tree. And Whoa. this part, right here, this part of the tree, that thick part is called the stem. No! Well, it is not the stem. What is it called? Well, my mommy says this is called the trunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the That's trunk. Right. Yep. yep, yep. Oh, thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. I did not know the trunk. Okay, well, on the uh, trunk, you say trunk. The trunk, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the trunk. That is called the skin. No! no. It's not called the skin. What is it called? It's called the bark. The mm -hmm. bark? Yeah. Huh. Well, thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Uh-huh. Um, and, oh, uh, see that thing up there, right up there? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh, well, there's a whole bunch of those on the tree. And uh, that is called the stick. No! That is not called the stick. Well, what, what is it called? A, A branch. Branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Um, well, I know one thing for sure. One thing for absolute certain. All those little green things on the tree all over, they are the feathers. No! They are not the feathers, campers. Well, no. campers, what are they? The leaves! Thank you! You're, You're welcome! welcome. Uh, uh, campers, um, if that is true, then what is the next thing I'm going to describe? That part of the tree that is, uh, where it has fur and some claws and some teeth. <laughs>
This is my village. We call it Buddha Plain. My name is Wayan. In my village, people make many things. Our blacksmith make nails. We cook food. We make gifts. We paint wooden animals. These are my friends. After school, we like to draw and paint the plants and animals that live on our island. She's painting a frog. We're making fancy stick for our parade out of stuff we found, like plastic bags, tin cans, flour, and palm leaves. It's good to use old things to make new things. It's fun and it's good for the earth. We make drums and instruments out of plastic bags and bottles. They are like the gamelan instruments the growing ups play. our parade with our new parade stick made out of old things. If we reuse things, our island will be clean and healthy. going to the park. Want to go with us? Oh, no thank you. I do not really feel like it. Why not? Well, I guess I am a little sad. Oh, uh, you're sad? Uh, how come? Because of this. Look, my favorite book. Oh. Wow, this is your favorite book? Uh -huh. How can you read it? All the pages are dirty and torn up and it's all covered with mud and everything. Well, well, it, it was my favorite book, but I accidentally dropped it in a puddle on the street. No! Yes. And by the time my mommy could come pick it up, a bus had run over it. No! Yes. And now it looks like this. Ugh, that's terrible. That's awful. No wonder you're sad. Yeah. Thank you. And that's why I do not feel like going to the park. Hmm. Perry Don, hmm? I'm not going to the park either. Mm -mm. Why not? Because instead of going to the park, I'm going to cheer you up. Oh, <laughs> you do not have to do that, Telly. No, but I want to. Are you with me, kids? Yeah! yeah! Perry Don, we will be right back. Come on, come on let's go. Surprises always cheer me up. <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Dance for her. Dance for her. Oh, Freddy. Put this and fancy free now. There's a tiger in my book and a lion in my book. There's a sneaky alligator I can spy on in my book. Sometimes all I need is a book to read there are pirates in my book on an ocean in my book there's a sorcerer with secret magic potions in my book and to learn where the story will lead i just read on a quiet day 
I could go outside and play. But there's adventure in my book, so exciting in my book. Turn the pages, see the pictures, read the writing in my book. Yes, sometimes all I need is a book to read. Oh, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Dum, dum, Wasn't that a dum, weird dum, dish dum, to set dum, before dum, the dum, king? Dum, dum, dum. Hi. Hi, I'm the baker. Yeah. Can I help you? Yeah, me want something delicious. But me forgot what it is. Oh, well, uh, gee, this is a bakery, yeah. so there's lots of delicious stuff here you yeah. could buy. Wait, wait, buy, that's it. Me want something that rhyme with the word buy. Something yeah. that rhymes with the word buy, like yeah. sky or fly or yeah, yeah, sigh. Yeah, or... yeah but, but must be something to eat. Huh. Uh, <gasps> look at that. What? Oh, huh? M-I-K-E-S. Mike's. Yeah, that's my name. Oh, but look, M-I. I rhyme with buy. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Hey. Ah. What? Ah. what are you doing there? Ah. Ah. He's mm. eating my letter I. No, me ate I. And it's pretty good, but not delicious. Not delicious. Me want something delicious. What rhyme with buy the delicious? Gee, I don't know. Stand back, me huh? see something. What? Oh, ho. Tie, tie rhyme with buy. Oh. Mm. Uh, hey. Ah. Uh, he ate my tie. Not bad, but not delicious. Uh, oh, what rhyme with buy? I delicious. can't think of anything. Me neither. Good afternoon, this is Guy Smiley, star of daytime television, and I am here to buy a pie. Oh, Mr. Guy Smiley, mm -hmm. you want to buy a pie? What to rhyme with buy? I think I'd like to buy this pie right here. You want to buy this pie? What to rhyme with buy the delicious? That's the pie I'm here to buy. Wait, wait, me know what to rhyme with buy and is delicious and is in bakery? What's he talking about? It. Guy. Why? Huh? Um, ah, delicious. Hey, ah, oh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, Mr. Oh, Smiley. Hey, Guy. Oh, Guy. Come on. Run him up. Oh, Can you run him up? Oh, we got him. Oh, 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 over here. Oh, oh we got him. Oh, hey, oh Guy, wait. Oh, what about the pie? Wait. Oh, Mr. cost. What about? Guy, wait. What about the pie? Send me the bill. Please run to the store and pick up 20 grapefruits. Remember that number. It's 20. 20 grapefruits. 20. 20. 
20. I've got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. Twenty, twenty, twenty. I'd like twenty, please. Twenty? Twenty what? I, uh, I, uh, forget. Twenty? with the letter Q. It's a quarter. That's right, 25 cents. Hi, Prairie. Hi, Tilly. You still feel sad about your favorite book getting hit by a bus, huh? Yes, yes I do. And our surprise party didn't make you feel any better? No, Tilly. I mean, it was very nice of you, but I guess I am just not in the mood for a surprise party. Well, that's okay, because I thought of something else that will cheer you up. You didn't. I did. It's oh. something that always makes me feel better. Oh. Well, Telly. Here it is, a marching band. <laughs> Ready? Oh, he's dancing. <laughs> Go around. <laughs> around. Not through. Around. Why don't we go to a barn? 
fun and hear new sounds. Yeah, come along with Elmo. There's a clanging of a bell and a creaking wooden door. There's a gurgle and a goggle as a pig begins to snore. When the sun sets in the west, if you're quiet, you may hear all the hoo-hoo and the The letter M proudly presents Melvin the Moving Man. Melvin the Moving Man has magnificent muscles. Melvin's mustache is made of macaroni. Melvin the Moving Man moves many things. Monday morning, Melvin moved a moose, a mule, and a mound of marbles. My, my, aren't Melvin's muscles marvelous? Melvin the Moving Man has come to you courtesy of the letter M. Are you still sad about your favorite book? Yes, Tilly. And please, hmm? no more surprise parties. And no more marching bands. I mean, I know you're trying to help, but right now, I would like to just stand here quietly. Uh, I understand, Prairie. No more surprise parties and no more marching bands. Thank you. However, there is one more thing I'd like to try to cheer you up. Tilly! Well, don't worry. This is different. See, I, I don't have a favorite book. Yes. But I do have a favorite dolly. Oh. <gasps> Freddy here. Oh. Uh -huh. and, 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 and if he fell in a puddle and got hit by a bus, well, I'd feel pretty sad, too. Oh, yes. Who wouldn't? But, Prairie Dawn, if it'll make you feel better, I, I would like for you to have Freddy. Oh, you, you want me to have Freddy? Yes. Oh, your favorite doll? Oh, Telly, that is very kind of you. But I do not think that even Freddy will make me feel better about my book. He won't? Oh, but thank you. Gee. Now I feel sad. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I wanted to cheer you up. I, I tried a surprise oh. party, a marching band, and even offered you my Freddy. But you still feel sad. Oh. 
I guess I'm just no good at cheering people up. Well, you know what, Telly? I think you did cheer me up a little. Oh, you're just saying that. No, no, it's true. Just knowing that you care so much about how I feel, well, that makes me feel better. Really? Yes. You are a good friend, Telly. I am? Yeah. Hey, watch this. Surprise, Bertie! I love surprises! <laughs> Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters M and Q and by the number 20. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. So long. Funding for this program is provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by public television stations and their contributors. Shining Time Station is huffing and puffing its way up next. Stay with us here on Channel 2.